It's time for Seen and Unseen, where we reveal the stories behind the headlines. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor and author of The Wise Men Who Found Christmas, Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raymond, tell us about this movie called Bros, which was billed as the first major studio gay rom-com. It flopped, I guess, at the box office? How could that be? Oh, did it flop? Look, th this movie, Bros, cost upward of $60 million to make and promote. It came in at a distant number four in the weekend box office, barely making $4.8 million opening weekend. The writer and lead actor, Billy Eichner, has been selling it hard for months. It opens September 30th. It's a great new comedy produced by Judd Apatow. He made Bridesmaids and Knocked Up and Trainwreck. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, where can I see it? Uh, in theaters, movie theaters. Bros? With yeah, my movie. My new movie is really funny. Through the Obama years, it felt like we were evolving, and we were, but underneath the surface, things were not evolving. There was so much homophobia. Case in point, Bros is the first gay rom-com ever made by a major studio. Man, it could well be the last. Today, Eichner tried to explain away the bros -mageddon. He tweeted this, Laura, straight people, especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for bros. Everyone who isn't a homophobe weirdo should go see bros tonight. Now, just a quick question. How do homophobes control gay movie going? I didn't realize they had that kind of control over gay people viewing a gay movie. That's like saying atheists kept Christians away from the latest God is not dead movie. I mean, maybe people just didn't like the movie. Bros had explicit sex scenes and R rating, got so-so reviews, and Billy Eichner is not exactly a likable personality, Laura. It's a little it's abrasive. An interesting, yeah, it's an interesting tack to take to insult probably half the country <laughs> in your push, aggressive push to sell your film. It's a, that's kind of an interesting take on it, but that's kind well, of what I, he does. I just think uh, perhaps they took the wrong lesson from the success of Top Gun. Only that was a movie gay people showed up for. My favorite was the New York Times attempt to clean up this bros bomb. Uh, the Times admitted, quote, Eichner can be polarizing as a comic personality. And of ah. course, homophobia cannot be ruled out. Okay. But romantic comedies of all kinds have struggled in the box office in recent years. I don't know what the Times talking about, Laura. Sandra Bullock just released a big rom-com in the summer, The Lost City. Oh, that's it made right. $30 million its opening weekend. I, I think I'm starting to understand why Billy Eichner is so mean, though. Uh, Laura, earlier today, you asked me, what day was it? It's October 3rd. It's Mean Girls Day, Laura. Check oh, the yeah. movie reference. Oh, stop it. But, <laughs> but as long as you're invoking Mean Girls, New Orleans uh, mm. Mayor Latoya Cantrell, she's again oh. causing controversy, Raymond. After splurging on luxury travel to France, a community group is now charging her with staying rent-free, of course, in a city-owned apartment? Is she a squatter? What? Yeah, well, she's kind of an official squatter. Uh, and it's not just any apartment. It's in the exclusive Pontalbo apartments right on Jackson Square. Uh, the community group found that she paid no rent from September of 2021 through July of this year. She's been there for nine months, according to this group. The problem is there's a city employee policy that states clearly the use of city property is for work-related purposes and not personal benefit. Now, the Fox affiliate New Orleans WVUE did an investigation. They found the mayor occupying this city-owned apartment <laughs> for nearly 26 days, Laura. This is set aside for, like, uh, you know, visiting dignitaries or to host parties. It's not supposed to be an extra, you know, bachelorette pad for the mayor. I mean, uh, all politicians can, can kind of move toward the freeloader status after being there for <laughs> long enough. Everyone becomes a freeloader eventually. This is the ultimate freeloader, Latoya Cantrell. This but woman Laura, is a when, menace. When you're the murder capital of the country, okay, you just blew $30,000 on a trip to France, and you owe now $3,000 a month rent, and there's a recall underway. It's best not to squat in the city's property. No. By the way, they've already collected 10,000 signatures, 20% uh, of the signatures they need for that recall effort. So... Things are not looking good for the no. mayor. Finally, Lord, Tesla just unveiled a new humanoid robot. Why mm. am I getting Age of Ultron vibes about this thing? I don't like the, the look of this at all. But what most people don't know is these robots may already be in use 
as public announcers and talk show guests. I'm not going to say I told you so, <laughs> but... but... <laughs> So I'm not going to say I told you so, but... If only we could reprogram those robots, Laura. But what can you do? You do your well, best. Uh, I, I saw... I, 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 saw I the, wish we could have seen that robot. Yeah, was, we didn't see it. Scary. But we saw the clip of it earlier, and it was creepy. Looks like an... And there it is. Menacing. Kind of. There can't it really is. see it. Looks like an insect. Yeah. Well, um, Elon Musk said... He said, uh, I'll be... This will fundamentally transform civilization. Lovely. This scares the daylights out of me, Laura. Love and care is something no robot can do. We need to teach people to do things and serve each other. Forget the robots for now. Hey, robot, get over here and get me a cup of coffee. All right, Raymond, thank you. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.